the Prime Minister's wacko carbon tax obsession is costing Canadians not just at the pump, but it raises the cost of home heating, of groceries, because of course if you tax the farmer who produces the food and the trucker who ships the food, you tax all who buy the food. It's a housing tax because it raises the cost of building materials that go into homes. With the report out today that 25 percent of young people had to go to a food bank in just three months, will he accept the common sense Conservative bill to take the tax off the farmers who produce our food. People are worried about droughts, people are worried about floods, people are worried about wildfires that are more and more severe. Canadians need a clean plan to fight climate change, which is something he hasn't put forward while we are fighting climate change. The Prime Minister, instead of defending his taxes, resorted to a really wacko and unhinged claim that if Canadians just paid more taxes, there would be suddenly less fires. I thought that water and not taxes put out fires. But maybe the Prime Minister can clarify, how high would his tax have to go for forest fires to stop? Mr. Speaker, Canadians are facing the impacts of the extreme weather events that come from climate change that are unfortunately getting worse and worse every year. That is why our government from, uh, from 2015 onwards has stepped up in the fight against climate change. Because because not only are we uh, reducing Canada's emissions to the lowest level outside the pandemic in 25 years, but we're also stepping up in the jobs and technological innovations that the world needs to successfully fight climate change. He didn't answer my question. You know, now he says that his taxes are going to make Canada a high-tech wonderland. Um, before his claim was that it was going to stop forest fires. It's him that made the link, not me. Obviously, I think the link between the two is absolutely ridiculous because his tax is not an environmental plan. It's a money collecting plan. It's a plan of government greed. So I'll ask the question again. He wants to hike the tax to 61 cents a litre. If it gets to that high and people are all starving in the streets, will that stop the forest fires? In the Leader of the Opposition's desire to make clever rhetorical points, he actually completely ignores the basic facts. The price on pollution is revenue neutral for the federal government. Sorry to be too clever for the Prime Minister, but he's the one who made the argument that high taxes would stop forest fires, and now he can't tell us how high the tax would go to put all the fires out. He went on now to say that his tax is revenue neutral. Well, you don't have to be too clever to read the government's own published documents, which shows that he has collected $2 billion more in taxes than he's given back in rebates. That's why 100% of middle class Canadians pay more than they get back. So once again, will he tell those middle class people how high the tax would have to go for the fires to stop?